after this first game is just a short week, and yet there's so much that we need to clean up on uh, from that tape. So, you know, being able to get our players in and, and clean some of those mistakes up before we go on and, and trying to do that uh, in a quick period of time will be something we'll have to do. But, um, you know, they fought and they hung in there, and we ended up obviously with a, a huge kick at the end by Will and uh, a good win. Questions? Well, look, I think, remember, he had, a, uh, he had one earlier in the game, had enough legs. So I, I think it's more about, you know, how does he strike it? And is it, is it you know, between the uprights? I, I felt like he has enough leg for it. But anytime you're attempting a longer field goal, the trajectory begins to drop and uh, snap in the hold. All of that was smooth. So it was a big play. Well, we're running him out with a 58-yarder with two seconds. So, yeah, I, the way he's kicking, yeah. But, you know, part of it is just trying to you know, manage the clock with the last time out and then, you know, how to give yourself the best chance to win. Say it again. Yeah, look, it's hidden yardage. So that there were a ton of plays, I felt like, in that game that – you know, we're swing plays. Um, we didn't play really smart when we got the lead and give up the big play to their top receiver. Uh, I mean, that's bad football, you know, and, and uh, we can't allow that to happen. You know, he made too many plays tonight for one of our goals to be to, to eliminate or, or don't let him beat you, and, and we, we tried to. So that, that, that kind of thing we need to clean up as players and as coaches. Yeah, I mean, you get in manner zone, that's going to affect the type of route we want to run. We know that we're in a down-down situation, so we're not looking for any yards after the catch, right? We're looking to catch it and get down, call timeout. And so versus zone, there's certain looks. Versus man, there's certain looks. And Drew was doing a good job of trying to assess, you know, what, what the coverage was. Did you get any kind of decent explanation for that mess at the end of the first half? No, look, it is what it is. If there's a penalty with the clock moving, I, not a penalty, but it shouldn't have been it shouldn't have been a booth review. It, it, to me, it was uh, pretty obvious he, he made the yards to gain. We've always moved the chains in, in, in the past. But look, that's, that's the rule, though. And so um, you got to choose whether you want to take 10 seconds or whether you want to use your timeout. I thought he played pretty well. I thought he played pretty well. I didn't. I didn't hear a lot of Watts' name. So how, how often do you work on that exact scenario? A lot. You know, the the unique thing is, Jeff. There's there's 85 to 185 different scenarios. You know, is, is it 28 seconds with two time? You know, just the multitude of scenarios. But um, you know, Drew's. Got a real good clock in his head. He understands where we're at time-wise. We really valued the timeout. You know, we, you could tell the one, the one, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the one uh, play where we we ticked a, a few, a few ticks off the clock, maybe too many, and, and grounded it. But we wanted to keep that timeout. Uh, the minute you use the timeout, then what you get defensively changes. They protect the sidelines, and you get really handcuffed. So. Um, you know, we got to work getting the ball back to the official cleanly, quickly getting set. There's so many things that go into it, but quite a bit. Um, he's a good player. I mean, he made some really big plays tonight. Um, you know, I thought he played exceptionally well, and and so uh, we knew that going in. He's someone that can beat you. You know, obviously down the field, he's got a really good arm, and. Uh, a tremendous amount of confidence from his from his own team teammates. So um, it was a good win against a good player. I don't know. That, I mean, we tried to keep him in the pocket as best we can, but he made some big plays from the pocket even and and beat us in some of the pressure looks. The touchdown pass at the end of the game um, was against a, a pressure look. Who? Um, 
Well, he was going to be in a rotation. We knew that. Um, you know, it was, it was something that for us we felt confident in. He played well, especially the last two games. So um, I thought it was important that we, you know, got a lot of those guys playing, especially the first game. You know, there, there's a lot that, uh, relative to their stamina and the amount of snaps they're, they've been playing. Um, we'll see on the film how he played. Well, look, I said this prior to the game, you know, this is, this is going to be a, a game with, you know, that, that's going to have mistakes, but let's make sure we're playing hard and let's make sure that, uh, you know, this momentum that, that, especially in this league that you see go back and forth, um, you know, let's, let's try to ride it when we have it and then quickly recapture it. And uh, I was proud of how they did that tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of the, the camp he's had and the way he's been playing. He, he really worked hard and uh, you know, got his weight to where it should be. And um, from our standpoint, from my standpoint, it appeared that he played pretty well, played hard. No, it was a little bit more by what, what they were doing. Uh, Romeo and those guys do a great job. Um, they tried to. Uh, they did a good job of staying on top of a lot of throws tonight. And you know, I probably in the first half uh, struggled as much as anyone. You know, getting the rhythm and, and you know, I thought we established it then to start the second half, and we scored. I think in the next three series. So, um, you know, we had a little bit better balance. Did you come out at halftime like philosophically? Well, just we came out at halftime with a handful of things that we felt like. We, we could take advantage of it, and we were going to get the ball to start. So we thought that was going to be important, that first series. All right, last one. Well, after week one, I am. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was you know, two plays. Um, that wasn't really good football. You know, to give up a big play against a guy that we should have safety help over the top coverage on, and then the very next play to give up a touchdown pass, you know, the the only the only upside is that we let them score quick enough to where we had time left to come back and kick a field goal, you know that that's trying to um, look at the bright side of things, I guess, if you will. Um, but that that has to that has to change. All right, thanks.